I admire artists who can draw directly to ink. I'd like to get better at this, and if you do as well, in this video I share three progressive exercises to practice those skills. For supplies, I'm using inexpensive sketching paper, an inking pen, a timer, three small boxes of different dimensions, and a great web tool that we'll use in the third exercise. Draw many dots, randomly spaced on your paper. Set your timer to five minutes, press start. Connect the dots with a series of straight lines of different lengths. There is no particular pattern, just join dots in any direction. The trick is to keep your eyes on the dot you're aiming for. You'll notice your lines become straighter as you go. Midway, at the three and a half minute mark, switch to curve lines. Keep connecting dots fill the page, add more dots if needed. Continue with curved lines until the five minutes is up. On a new page, again, set the timer to five minutes, press start. Draw a series of egg-shaped ovals. Be speedy, but aim to close the loops. Avoid crossing lines or leaving gaps in the ovals. The trick is to start fast and slow down to connect the gap. For our last five minute interval, from imagination, draw faces on the egg shapes. Mine are cartoony. If drawing portraits is your thing, I expect you'll rock this exercise. We're using three small boxes that I found around the house of different dimensions as our reference. Remove a panel from one of the boxes to show inside. Using your timer, draw each box for five minutes from various angles. You can hold or prop your box onto something, draw it from several perspectives. The challenge is to maintain realistic proportions while changing the vantage point of the box. Avoid sketching several tentative lines. If the angle is way off, then make the next box better, uh, a little better. <laughs> Strive for decisive, confident strokes. The trick is to keep your eyes on the box as you draw. Masters recommend we keep our eyes on the subject 70% of the time and 30% on what we're drawing on the page. I use a free website called Quick Poses. Because I need to practice characters, for today's session, I've selected human poses, the whole figure. Uh, for gender, I selected all, clothing, yes please, 120 seconds per pose, which gives time for approximately eight poses of two minutes each. Select 20 images in case you want to skip over any of the poses you don't like. You can adjust those settings to what you most want to practice. Options are faces, hands, animals, landscapes, or urban settings. There is additional customization, so be sure to explore the tool. The goal of the exercise is to make decisive, organized strokes. Draw the main lines that explain the subject. We're not concerned with correctness of proportions or realistic anatomy. That's not the point of this exercise. There are better exercises to target those, and you'll find links in the description below, so take a moment to check out those additional resources. No, this method is similar to a contour drawing where we follow the outer edges of the form. Use single strokes to explain the pose. It's almost like putting a puzzle together. It might not look fantastic as a drawing, but you'll soon see benefits from incorporating these types of exercises as part of your training routine. Here are some ink sketches by Matisse and Picasso. I'm not sure that they timed their poses, but this is the exact technique we're aiming for. The trick is to take the first few seconds to assess the pose. Determine what elements are in the forefront of the picture plane because we want to avoid crisscrossing lines where there's elements overlapping each other on the subject. For example, here where the hand grabs the sickle handle, we need to plan the layering in an instant. 120 seconds flashes by very quickly. Don't get discouraged by the results on your first try. I repeated several times the poses that were more challenging. You can also ease into it, either adjust the constraints to to a longer interval or do the poses untimed. Remember to date your sketches. This makes it easier to assess progress over time. For today's video, I used the exact same poses from three months ago to show you the difference in comparison. I also redid one of the two minute poses in 
five minutes, which felt like so much time comparatively. For my first session back in November, I used the quick pose tool to time the poses for me. For this video, I timed the poses with my timer. To repeat poses from a previous session, you can locate your images again from the quick pose library or save screenshots for future sessions. Just be mindful to use the images for exercises only as they are copyrighted. If like me, you're guilty of drawing what interests you the most and avoid practicing what is difficult, then these powerful exercises will help round out your art skills. If you found this video useful, feel free to share it with other pen and ink enthusiasts. Watch the uh, draw with me playlist for more practical tutorials. Thanks for subscribing and all the best with your training.